Okay. Yeah, I updated the Moodle link. I think it's like 15 megabytes. Yes. Do you want the three balls to go on the same track or have a track for each ball? That's your choice. I would want them to be three following the same track to make sure your physics is doing the right thing, no matter if it's here or if it's right behind it. But you could have something that says something's falling down and it gets pushed to the side, so it follows this other track, and this other one doesn't get pushed because it's at the right time, and so it follows this new track. That's up to you. Watch videos of marble machines online. They are fun. Let's go ahead and do that, because they are cool. How closely would you anticipate them following each other? How closely? I would, I would be spacing them out. You would space them out? Yeah. So like every 20 seconds, a new ball is in that top spot. And every 20 seconds, because it's supposed to take a minute for you to go all the way through, makes it look nice. Is there also called like group goals for each machine? Usually, those have some kind of goal at the end. So this doesn't have a goal. No, you're just trying to say I'm setting up a marble. Continuously dynamic machine. Right. Rube Goldberg is usually something gets chopped, some other thing gets smashed, and physics happens, and all of a sudden you get toast. <laughs> and, and your eggs get cooked at the same time. So you're trying to program stuff like this, maybe. What did this guy do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is the kind of stuff you can do. Animation happening over here, up and down. This thing animated back and forth, popping the balls in the right spots. Things on joints, things getting stuck. So this is way too short for ours, right? <laughs> yes. This is like four seconds ours has to be. One, one minute, yeah. 
Yeah. But your balls move slower. It's fine. Just like scale it up. So scale it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the Empire State Building marble machine. <laughs> That's what you're going to make. Have like one, one track, but it just takes the marble a minute to throw three balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One big channel. Yeah. One minute in the channel. No. <laughs> I want some more interesting things. What? That's a good use for your second camera if you want. At this point, your camera will also rotate with the marble. You will get dizzy. Right. Do we know how to make a camera follow without rotating? That I've seen is when we need scripting. Okay. We're going to start doing scripting. We're going to learn about character controllers next Tuesday to let you have input <laughs> through the screen and say, wait a second, these require these JavaScript. We're not going to do JavaScript. We're going to do C sharp. But there has to be some piece of code that reacts to you, <clears throat> gets us introduced to making everything coded. <clears throat> everything has some programs and components and updates and reactions and stuff. So the way to do a camera is to set it on an object and then every update take its transform and put you into some other spot. <laughs> so you only look at the XYZ location, not the rotation of what's going on. So you don't have to subclass yourself to the object moving. You can just have this camera know that I'm looking at this object and following it <clears throat> in the XYZ plane. And then you can do nice stuff to have it interpolate so that when you jump, the camera jumps a little bit more and it looks like you're bouncing and stuff in the camera. So the more things you can do with the code, the better, instead of it being strictly controlled by the other pieces. Okay, so very nice inspiration for what you need to be doing. Let's see what's going on over here. This guy, oh, this guy loves marble machines. Yeah, it's a catapult marble machine. <clears throat> we don't need ads. <laughs> Look at that catapult. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I like the little spin thing at the end. Oh, that one bounced uh, out. Know, marble. I saw marble that got lost. Yep. <laughs> Most of them are going right in there. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are your goals. You can do that. Oh, what's this one? Mike's Marble Machine. Oh, wow. Yes. Look at that. Look at that thing. It's in action. There's a marble going through it. Marble's all up there. And we got, and apparently, has a xylophone down here. What? And we got that that makes too nice noise. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. All of you can do that from some nice simple <laughs> ball. You can make some nice fancy marble machines. So have fun. <laughs> Explore it. Meet those basic requirements. Add in skyboxes. <clears throat> make some lights. 
They can be swinging lights that are animated. They could be lights that follow the ball around so you only illuminate part of the Marvel maze. It's up to you, but have fun making Marvel mazes. Like I said, on Tuesday we'll start to learn character controllers so that we can wander around the scene. And then Thursday, your Pachaka Chop presentations. <coughs> Next Tuesday, scripting. We start to learn C-sharp and make these objects react how we want to as programmers, not just the built-in stuff that we can drag in there. <laughs> okay, cool. Hopefully this is going in directions that you want. Good luck. Okay. Hey, cool people are watching. I was looking at my chat log on Twitch. Look at that. They could hear me talking right now about them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, yep. Surprise, they actually leave before the. Uh... Yeah. So, we'll work on that next time. <laughs>